Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. Uh, today I thought we would just do like a flip through of the journals I have. Um, they're not all, all the ones I've written in I should say. <laughs> because I have a lot of journals and when I pulled them out I was like, holy moly. I didn't realize I had so much. I left one over here, sorry, I'll excuse my arm. So just to kind of give you some ideas uh, on, um, yeah, what I do with them and, you know, show you guys some of the things I've been working on and how I get started in junk journaling. I thought that would be kind of fun. So I'm going to raise you guys up just a little bit so I can get the book all the way in. And uh, I thought that way I, I don't have to think. I've had a Hi. neck ache with spasms for the last two or three days. So usually I can take one muscle relaxer and it'll uh, ease it up. I think I'm on three now. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that the worst is over. So I haven't had to take one today. I have a pain, a prescription pain patch on my neck. But man, the spasms are the worst. I mean, it just, you can't move your head, your neck and yeah not not a fun thing so um, this is the first one I started in and um, when I started this this was um, did I write all the way through it no I wrote a lot through it though but um, this is when my mother had passed away and my sister and I were driving home I think is when I picked this up and I started writing in it so um, Kind of Fobonichi style, which I guess a Fobonichi, you'd have to look it up really, but what you do is just, um, you kind of write your feelings, but you have to journal. So you can put pictures and stuff, but you have to journal. I think that's the, the big thing. And, you know, I have like dreams I've, I had during that time. Uh, this is February the 12th is when I started writing in here, and Mom passed away on the 1st of February. <coughs> Uh, 2016 so and I was writing like I would draw a little picture it says um, these are flowers Clint gave me <laughs> so it was kind of but it was really nice for um, but I was thinking too it would give us some ideas of what to put in your journals now if you're kind of at a loss so um, there, you, there's a site on Facebook, and it's like Fobonichi. I think it's like Fobonichi journalers, and etc. or something. And so I was a big, I was a member of that, and they would put up like daily, um, daily challenges, things to write about, and stuff like that. But I would, <clears throat> like, I would do, you know, put in things to do, what I love. Uh, sometimes I didn't have anything to write because, you know, we stay at home a lot. <laughs> but, you know, I would write down, like, my three favorite things. Uh, write what we ate. What is that? Oh. I, ha I actually wrote what this was. I drew that picture. And I said it's supposed to be an orange cinnamon roll. I thought it was a uh, sweet potato. <laughs> Glad I write, wrote down what it was. But yeah, so that's kind of fun. I put recipes in this one. See, I would kind of draw. This was actually a stamp. And, you know, just kind of things that I really loved. I would put in these Fobonichi journals. And, uh, you know, thing, things that I did. And what's funny is whenever I write a things to do list, I always put nap on it so I know I can write off one thing. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, I won these watercolors and I put down, you know, what they're, who I won and things like that. So that was kind of who I won them from and the packaging. So, you know, people put like uh, receipts, things like that. Um, oh, lovely. I had a pinched nerve in my neck four I years never. ago. Did you stir it? No, I didn't. <laughs> So, and then this is when I had started, uh, 
my stamp company and I was drawing for, you know, making stamps before I knew how to draw. I did take some classes before I started drawing. Clint bought me a craft lamp for our anniversary that year. But I love kind of looking back and seeing, like I said, it was a really hard year. And, you know, I was kind of busy. Um, you know, I was keeping myself busy because there was a lot, you know, going on and, you know, a lot of feelings and stuff. And it's really good to have, like, a journal to, you know, to write your feelings in and things like that. Um, but it it's really fun. This was my first stamp. <laughs> my stamp set. <laughs> that goats. Here was another one. I was so excited. I know they're kind of kind of funny now but you know that was three years of my life and it was really fun you know talk about losing weight I'm always on a diet so uh, <laughs> so yeah you know sometimes I would just write things like that so I was gonna see if there's like any drawing or anything that's really funny Sometimes I do write things, like things you would, and I think they're in, so that was one of them. I didn't write all the way through, through this one, but I did, I was in a habit of getting up every morning, and that's the first thing I would do is journal about the previous day, and I need to get back in that habit, because I really do miss that. So, let me see where I'm going to stack these. And then I have these three, 2017, 2017. Let me see what year this was. So I think this was the last. And then I got these before I finished the red book. And so I wanted to just like jump in and start writing in this one. So it was, I did a lot more drawing and stuff in this. This was 2017, uh, July, or was it 16? July 2016 so I had this one uh, July 16 through February the 17th but it was really fun to fill up these books you know so but yeah just a little bit of sketching and drawing and this was a funny story see there's my sketch of Clint we were going for a walk and there's a bunch of worms in the road and so Clint wanted to gather them to put in his garden, so he ran back home and got a jar to put his worms in. So we walked for a mile and he picked up worms. <laughs> that was kind of fun. So, and you know, I just put some things on his, uh, things that we, you know, did and drawing. You can tell I was not much of a draw drawer an artist but I had fun and it's kind of fun to look back now and say oh my gosh that looks horrible <laughs> but see I would just draw just fun different things in here so and then sometimes I wouldn't want to like draw out a bunch of stuff so I would do do my day and I would put arrows like we would have morning coffee and then we went to El Grande for breakfast and we did locates bought groceries then we went to a yard sale then I took a nap there's me and the cat and then we had sandwiches for dinner <laughs> this was the day we went mushroom hunting that was really fun and then we did yard work and I just drew some pictures I guess I have been drawing a long time I just didn't realize it I guess just fun things sometimes like I said you don't know what to write but I would write in them every day and so it'd be like uh, you know what are the ten things that make me smile if I couldn't find something to write about I would go on Pinterest and put like journaling ideas and so things like that would um, would come in but I'd have like jobs I've had I was a waitress cashier at Walmart for like two weeks cosmetologist data entry secretary animal shelter worker gas station attendant store owner, florist, warehouse worker, post office clerk, utility locator, and a stamp designer. So that was really fun. But you know, sometimes I thought, well, it'd be fun for someone to look back on this and say, oh, Aunt Michelle liked to do this, or, you know, uh, we've had our scan and cut 
for five years. <laughs> We're just now using it. Oh, that's too funny. We went fishing, but we didn't catch anything. So I drew what I thought the fish were talking about. Oh, and that lady gave us that sewing machine. Gave us a treadle sewing machine. And uh, that was fun. Sometimes I would just put, like, inspiring sayings. If I couldn't think of anything to write or, you know, I just felt like I needed to, you know, to write something. Uh, sometimes I would have put down ideas of what I wanted to draw, like for um, sketching for cards. Because I was making a lot of cards. And plus I wrote when I was sick and had the stomach flu and all that. And this was really sweet. My, sis my niece had written this long thing on um, Facebook to me and it was so sweet so I copied it down in here but then there's my <laughs> arrows again mole and honey yeah I did do a lot of drawing ignore my weight <laughs> oh and we had no air conditioner oh my gosh it was so hot so we spent a lot of times during that time up in the mountains but <laughs> mowing and weeding then we went fishing with hubby and then we went mushroom hunting uh july 25th i like to look back and say oh the mushrooms were out you know this particular time so yeah we had no um air conditioning for like a week and um it was a hundred degrees inside the house it was so hot but we finally ordered one and it took a while to get here and then it kept being late uh, oh yeah somebody said our goats were starving <laughs> which is funny because we have um, we have like bales of hay up front because we're like 300 feet from the highway but all they see is like the hot highway part and so they didn't realize we were feeding them so we had somebody ask us about us starving our animals yeah so just fun things so I just wanted to kind of you know show you some stuff but I kind of wrote some fun things in here but I was thinking oh I love gals you know where she's just showing stuff really wanted to show some um, like some of the pictures and stuff these are beets pickled beets Farmer's eye candy. <laughs> Tendonitis. Let's see. Oh, this is when Sis and I, look at this. Sis and I were in California and we passed a gas station and it said, last gas for the next 90 miles. And Sis had a new car. And she looked down and it was like a quarter tank and she's like oh we can make it yeah we were biting our fingernails hoping that we could make it <laughs> so yeah that was a fun time it was kind of scary there's sis and i put pictures in here and we went to reno i didn't like it too hot and too yeah i was doing some quilting harvested a bunch of stuff in the garden that was fun but I would write you know things like that it's gonna take forever if I go through every page huh I'm gonna point out some things oh this is when mom and I were working on the uh, <coughs> craft shed outside Oh, and the uh, Zentangle. I, that's one thing I was thinking with Gail. You know, we kind of all kind of moved in the same um, same thing. You kind of went from cards to mixed media to Zentangle to junk journals. <laughs> kind of funny. But I was thinking, oh, I should show what I've done. I don't know if it's interesting. And then I would do like Christmas. fun things for Christmas was it this year no 
one year I did like um, a drawing every single time. And then 2000, oh, there's the baby. My, my niece had that little, had him. So cute. That was the best part of that year. New Year's resolutions. Uh, this was one of our stamps. Isn't he cute? Cat chaos. I wrote down some of the things cats did. I don't know if it was on here or not. So anyways, yeah, just kind of use it to journal about your day. You know, just some. But sometimes I would just look on Pinterest and get ideas. Zentangle. I love that because you can just kind of do that um, without thinking. It's just really fun. That's funny. But I love just kind of looking back and see what all, you know, I wrote about. Oh, and this was my best friend's birthday. She passed away suddenly from a brain aneurysm. So whenever I get um, down in February and March, it's because my mom and my best friend passed away during that time. So let's see what we have in here. I know. I'm going to go quick so you guys. Did you stir it? No. <laughs> I asked Clan if he stirred the baby's food because she likes it stirred. And you know what he told me? He told me, no, I don't want her to control my life. <laughs> Boy, what? Oh, it needs stirred. I can't eat it until it's stirred. <laughs> well, fine. Just eat it. No, I have to have it stirred. I'm like, you got to stir it, Daddy. <laughs> I ain't got to do nothing. She likes it stirred. Why has he got to be so mean? I'm not going to have my life controlled by a cat. <laughs> I'm thinking, really? That's what we live for. <laughs> have a lot of uh, positive sayings in here. It's also really fun to put like your uh, washi tape, use some of that and stuff. I really ought to start writing in this, you know, all the time. Cause I just love to be able to look back and and that's one reason one thing when I started junk journals is it was a little bit um, my site my page sizes shrank so much so that was really hard to get used to oh, Gracie <laughs> Lynn what she'd probably be happy if you'd stir her food she ate her food already <laughs> didn't you turn you never see your mama Hey, baby. You gonna come here? She has to get up and see. I even did a piece of a, a sack, a chip sack. Hi, baby girl. Come here. Oh, come Hi. here. Hi. What are you doing? How's your baby? How's your baby? Oh, isn't she precious? You She's getting so big. Oh, Daddy didn't stir your food. Are you sad? Are you sad Daddy didn't stir your food? Well, I start, started stirring it because she flattens it. And then it's really hard for her to get in there and kind of eat at it. But maybe she's getting bigger and she don't need it stirred all the time. You can't cut it. You have to stir it or squish it. You have to squish it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she has a little crystal dish that she eats out of. No, she doesn't really. <laughs> You Look at that sweet baby. Look at that sweet baby. Do you want your own little crystal dish, huh? <laughs> Hope she's eating on your glasses now. And these, I would also put in some really fun things from people. Like if I got Happy Meal or something, I would put that in here. Oh, and the books I read. I read a bunch. In fact, I was looking, I think I'm up to almost 100 books this year. Yeah, I like to read. Do the baby. Do the baby. <laughs> She's a beauty. She's getting so big, guys. 
this is Gracie Lynn, in case you haven't seen her. <laughs> and then some cutouts and stuff. Tons of uh, stickers. I really like to use those in here, especially the odd ones, because, you know, you just don't know what to, how to use them or whatever. But back when I did scrapbook, oh yeah, that was another one of the tiers to yep. junk journaling, yeah. I would do, um, I would stock up on stickers. I have hundreds of stickers still. And so I would start to use them. Things were said around the cats. Things you really wouldn't say to anyone else but a cat. Pee on your head. Yeah, I think I have that in here. I said that this morning. Did you? <laughs> yes, I did. Now that someone's learned how to jump up on the toilet. Clint says to Sammy, you look like a stuffed turkey on Thanksgiving. To Biddy, uh, regarding Cubby. You can lay right here, but we've got to move his head first. Mom to Sophia. What do you see anyways? The wind? <laughs> that was your mom. Oh, that sounds about right. <laughs> Could you get off my back to Cubby while Mom was cleaning out the litter box? <laughs> Uh, Hi. Clint to Bitty Bear. This is like a daily thing. You're not going to want in there. He lets him in there and two minutes later. I told you you weren't going to want in there, but do you listen? No. <laughs> uh, things you hear in a house household with cats that you wouldn't hear anytime anywhere else. Cutie. But I really, oh, and this was a, a journal I made. It was a uh, mini album. It was huge. It was a large mini album for a girl who got married. And then she was too scared to use it. <laughs> you were what? A mini album. She was too scared to use it. Oh. Just some drawings. But they used to have, I love the site, and I need to see if they did it again. If they have, like, prompts. Because they would have prompts in the... Fobonichi site and I loved them because it'd be like today it would be like use yellow and orange or something like that and so those are the two colors you should use for that day so and like this one it looks like doodles here's some books I got when I first started junk journaling so this is June the 2nd 2017 is when I started actually getting stuff for junk journals I drew my lemonade. <laughs> See, I would draw. Huh? Nothing. I don't Whoop. like this book yet. Oh, I was thinking. I something on my mind for some reason. Oh, here's a frog. This is so funny. Clint was telling me that this man had a frog in his pond. And I, he said, Clint said he tried tried to pet it. And I said, you tried to pet a frog? And he said, yes, frogs need love too. So I drew it. <laughs> Put it in here. <laughs> well, they do. Uh, this is Clint saying frogs need love too. And the frog's like, yeah, I think. <laughs> I copied the frog from Pinterest. <laughs> Clint said the frog jumped away. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> like this one is twins. So anything <coughs> you could do like twins. It was cute. Books, I drew the books. Encouragement. These were so fun. I really should start doing that again. Just some stickers. I think I was just trying to get rid of one sticker pack. So I used that. Just different things I was using that day. Oh, and this was my friend's uh, thank you card. So, yeah, really, you know, any of your journals, you can do that. I better speed it up. You guys are going to be like, Michelle, we're going to be here all day. Oh, it's okay. That's half the fun. I didn't draw that, but he'd be fun to draw. Actually, I have drawn something similar, which I'll show you guys soon. It is half the fun just to be nosy. That's what I was thinking when I was watching um, Gail's 
I was thinking, oh, I just like to be nosy and see what she's been doing. I like to see the inside, the flip through of journals, just because I think they're so interesting, you know, about how people use theirs. And then I use that whole thing. Yeah. But you should see some of the girls, some of their books, they were these, and they would be like this thick when they were done because they would put so much into them. Mm. Which I'd probably do that again. Maybe I'll make one that's like a soft cover for myself. Well, I do have one actually and write in it. This one, did I fill it up? Wow, I did. I don't remember filling all these. <laughs> hmm. Um, when I made some Halloween journals. This was interesting because this dog came over and it killed one of our chickens. And suddenly, it stayed here for like two days. We called the cops and everything, but we kept it for two days. And uh, I walked in here and I'm like, I know who, who this dog belongs to. I remember doing a locate and petting that dog. <laughs> so, her name is... I wrote it down in case she ever showed back up. But I don't remember. Her name's Darla. <laughs> I don't think the lady believed me that she killed the killed the um chicken. The cops chicken. actually came out. Oh yeah, they did come out, and then they started looking for her, and yeah. But our neighbor was outside and saw her kill the chicken. So we fixed a, p a fence and drawing. Just things. Sometimes I would just do a bunch, you know, of things. And then like this year, December, I think I decided to do a drawing every day of the month. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. One year, December, I drew something every single day. But I don't know where I did that. Or maybe I just did it a few days. Because I, I remember these. So those were fun. Oh, and I would love to paint this picture for my sister. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. Maybe should keep it and not give it back. <laughs> oh, okay. They're just things. Some of these were boring. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think this was a Pinterest inspired one. Isn't that pretty though? I love that. Oh, okay. We saw a cougar that day in Dove Creek. No, we didn't see it. Somebody called us and told us about it. Just drawings and stuff. I think I'm going to get back to that. You know, it was just really fun. Then I was going to try bullet journaling. <laughs> That lasted for one month. I just felt like it took up way too much time. So, some of my dreams I had. Yeah, that was all. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> Sis and I went to Gunnison's. Oh, holy mo! Oh, that was two years ago. Sis and I went to Gunnison because she was doing a training thing. So we went up there for three days, I think. So uh, she, she trained. I did like doing the June, like the reviews. That was fun. So I love having all this, uh, these quotes in here. seeing what I was writing. Oh, and I would keep track of how many subscribers I had on YouTube. Eighteen hundred in November and then, oh, that's in April. I was thinking, how did I get so much? <laughs> So yeah, so that's all of my, kind of, most of my Fobonichi in these journals. Just kind of let you know, you know, 
and then I would just try to use up stickers and stuff. And this one, it was just a theme color. Well, come here. Hurry up. And then this, isn't that fun? Just a bunch of fun little things. Drawing. I would draw with uh, distress pens because they wouldn't go through the paper. So I would color and then you could color them and they wouldn't soak through. So that's all in there. So the next one I think I started was this one, and this is a journal from um, Lisette over at Pichon and Paper. P I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Lisette. Oh. <laughs> I think I have one in here, but it's uh, her book of pockets. So she had tons of little pockets in here, and I was kind of keeping up with the Fobonichi idea. But I felt like I didn't have that much room, so I need to maybe just make myself a larger journal. I don't know. <whistles> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Clint's going to hear this tomorrow, and he's going to be like, honey. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I would just write in here, but sometimes I just didn't feel like I had that much room. And then I think I missed a page or two. But I was almost, I mean, I had done a lot. See, here's one. Oh yeah, here it is. Peace yarn and paper on Etsy. So she does have a bunch of journals in her store. So if you're looking for one, she does such fun work. And this is one I got to write in for that. And so I kept, you know, kept up with it a little bit. So that's that. I didn't finish that one. And then I got uh, the one for, where is it at? I got this one, and this is the one I've been writing in lately, kind of. This is from uh, Christy over at Burlap and Daily Bread. And she has really fun things that she does. And so I was writing in there too. So I really need to fill these two up. So I just pulled the ones that I've been writing in so you guys can see. But, oh, this was um, about COVID and some of the pa the pictures on the uh, on Facebook and stuff, I recorded, I printed them out and, on stickers and put them in here just to kind of record that, you know. I need to kind of update. I haven't written anything recently. So that is the one I'm using now currently when I remember so and then I have this one this is Clint's journal we haven't done a lot in here and this is one I made before I really knew what I was doing <laughs> Beautiful journal. it's really pretty but it's really full so you can't put a lot in it you know as far as because look how full it is already but I thought that's how you were supposed to make them you're supposed to make them full but you're really not but I have, a, I have flip throughs of this one on my channel. And then I have a couple of pages that I did. These are some really old like letters and this postcard. Might scan that in, that's a really pretty one. Is that the only thing we put in here so far? No, surely there's something, oh, here's one. I guess that's all we did. <laughs> we didn't do much in here, did we? Mm-mm. Hmm. So, yeah, we have that one. I'm just, yeah, like I said, just showing the ones we've done. This is my travel one. This is one of my newer, or my first ones that I made. I love it. This is just a bunch of vintage buttons. And then I made one just like it, or real similar for my sister. And then she found this charm when we were shopping and stuff. And gave that to me, huh? Oh, okay. 
Oh, I should make some of those. Those are fun. Oh, you are too, honey bunny. Yeah. So I put like our um, hotel thing in here. Soap. This was our receipt. And she loves um, casinos and every one we went to we had to get a card because you get like five bucks. And so we'd get that. We ate at Chipotle. I'd never eaten there so that was kind of fun. Just all the goodies and stuff. We went to Goodwill. And I don't think I ever wrote anything else. Oh yeah, did I? Yeah. That was one of our first day. Is that all I did? I don't, haven't written in here very much. So maybe we'll go on another vacation sometime. Or if not, Clint and I can record in here. So that was that. <laughs> Many vacations for us. Huh? Many vacations for us? Yeah. If that, huh? And then this was one I made. And this one has some friendship things in here. I'm trying not to show any addresses. So, like a card from one of my, or a envelope card. And then little notes and stuff I was putting in here. Any notes that people wrote me. I think that's all. Well, I haven't put anything in any of these. I'm too busy making them. I need to spend some time filling them. So that was boring. <coughs> uh, now I think we're going to switch to... Oh, we'll do this one first. This was one that I was going to do fill up with uh, like mixed media and stuff like that. I didn't. <laughs> I drew that in 2017. I have, we, we made a stamp of this um, snail and then I created it on a, I think I did a notebook for my friend. She designed the snail and I thought that would be cute. And then I did this, which is laughter is the fireworks of the soul. This was a tutorial on on um, YouTube. That one was really fun to make. Yeah, it was really a fun. And I think I found the saying on Pinterest. And that was all of that. Let's see, Let's see what I mean? It's boring. Okay, so I have this one. And this one I was doing mixed media with um, uh, cat hand. And so I was going to do these big old pages of what she suggested, but this is acrylic paints and then it's like three layers kind of of acrylic paints and then you put on that um, plastic wrap, the cling wrap stuff and you kind of scrunch it up and let it sit overnight and then you get this really cool texture. That's really fun. Lindsay does that often in her journals. That's really fun. Her paintings, not her journals. And then this was just like a collage, and then you're supposed to come back with a really big, um, like writing or something on it. I didn't do that. And then this one was acrylic paint, like two layers, and then um, alcohol. That was kind of fun. I need to revisit those again. And these were like ideas or something, I don't know, that I saw. Yeah, see, there's like where I sketched the one thing I did. I would write down um, ideas. I'd use it for stenciling. Oh, here's where I swatched out my markers. There's that thing I want to make for my sister if I ever get really good at watercoloring. And then just a bunch of ideas. We would have a lot of... Uh, when I was doing stamps and stuff, I have a lot of journals that I drew ideas in constantly. I thought about throwing them away, but it is part of my, you know, life and everything. Who knows? Maybe I'll need them again sometime. My cats. You never know. Probably not for that, but it was just me practicing little kitties. 
<laughs> so yeah. Wow, I did a lot. <clears throat> this is one of our stamps. It ended up being one of them. And this was one of them. And he was in one of our stamp sets. So it was kind of fun. It kind of reminds me of, you know, what we did for a while. Research in uh, like a porcupine. <laughs> Little sheep. He was in our one of our stamps. So it was a really fun time, but you know, it was kind of like a season in your life and then it kind of goes away, huh? Yep, yeah. And then this one is one of my newer ones that I was writing like um, ideas or before I put them in my positivity journal. So it's kind of like ideas. This is one that I just didn't really care for, so it didn't ever make it into my journal. And then I loved this one. This was one by Lindsay using um, so water soluble graphites. That was really fun. This was an idea, but for some reason I couldn't make it work. It just wasn't coming together. They're supposed to be owls, and they don't look like it. My big um, robin. And then I was kind of doing my little bumblebee. <laughs> this was a um, tutorial by. Ellen Cremy Trent, but she did watercolor on hers, and I just kind of sketched it out because I was practicing uh, cups and the lips of cups and stuff. That's all in there. I don't know where my other. Oh, there it is over there. So let's see. This one is one I got from. Oh, I can't remember, and I don't think she has her name in here. I think her name was Gwen. Actually, it should be. But this is really where I keep names of Gwen Castile of the Ink Blenders. So, you know, this is my Ink Blender thing. So if you're on the list, your name's in here. Or it was. We don't really have a list right now because mm -hmm. he's all caught up. And then I put, like, journal ideas, um, different things I want to use in my journal. Uh, different journals that I want to make a list of that because this is so small. I'm able to just carry it with me uh, Some of Clint's favorites that I need to get Put in below his name on the description The alphabet challenge. I need to get working on that Some of my favorites um, Things I needed to get done <laughs> that was like a list probably a lot on that list. <laughs> there really wasn't because I'm such a procrastinator. <laughs> but these would be like, oh, I want to finish this journal and I want to put this, this, and this in there. You know, so things like that. Different digitals I wanted to do. Oh, no, this is... These are ideas to put in journals. Because sometimes I forget what I want to put in there. Uh, different paper selections for journals. Uh, Etsy store items that I needed to get put in. Just a bunch of notes. You know, things like that. Like for our locating and things like that. Breakfast things. So yeah. So that's really fun, and what I like about this one is you can purchase these um, little notebooks, and then just they pull out because they have elastic. So that one's really fun. This one pretty much goes everywhere with me. It's really getting dirty, and it's got hair on it, and all that good stuff. And this is my positivity journal. This one we're filling up pretty good. So, but yeah, just fun things positive I like to try to write something if I can especially you know I started this when the lockdown and stuff was in effect and I thought you know I'm gonna continue it through the year so I try to do one a week but it's been kind of hard when you're not feeling good <laughs> so I have um, videos of each of these 
he's something from Pinterest. He just looked funny, so I put him in there. And my, um, what are those things called? Poppies. Hummingbird. A bee. Did him. And then my, um, Oriole. We don't have Orioles here very often, but once in a while they'll show up. And we saw a male and a female. And then when we lost our baby Jazzy. And so I still tried to stay um, positive. You know, don't cry because it's over. Oh. Smile because it happened. So, and she loves straws and flies. She was always <laughs> looking for flies. And then this one. That just to me looks like a mess <laughs> but it was fun okay so now let me see let me grab my other one I think I have two more to show you guys so hang hang tight okay so I thought I'd show you some of this one because I did draw in here some of my ideas for stamps and stuff. I tell you, I use these a lot. Well, and they were so simple to get because you could be in Walmart and pick one up, you know. Um, Zentangle. I had to do a squirrel. But I was, that's one thing that made me think of this is because Gail was doing this. She was showing all her Zentangles. And I was thinking, you know, that's yeah, it's kind of like the journey to junk journaling. You start with scrapbooking, and then you move on to card making, and Zentangle, and mixed media. <laughs> and then you end up in junk journaling. I think it's just a, a natural progress for some of us. And I was doing a, uh, I think it was, yeah, one week out of, one week you would do work on a uh, scripture verse and you would draw a picture about it. And so I would just just do that. It's more Zentangle, but this time with just different colors. But I really like doing this in the car. I can't really do that now because I get motion sickness, but you know, I could draw that and stuff. Some of my funny little <laughs> drawings back in the day. But I do like looking back because, you know, I can't wait to look back a year from now and just see where I've come as far as taking oh, drawing. Progress, and, Jack. Yeah, really and watercolors and stuff. Yeah. Leaps and bounds, really. Yep. That's what Lindsay said. She says, Michelle, you're improving in bounds. And I was thinking, you know, I've always done stuff like that. I had just never learned the basics, you know. And so it's just a big... Um, is fun so this is stuff we went through with my mom and then this is some stuff we did with Lindsay one of her classes she has you draw with charcoal and then I was going to show you this this was a Pinterest thing I just wanted to practice that and this is a magnolia flower and Lindsay said it was too dark so I did it again and lightened it up so that was fun and then just some little drawings I try to draw something every day and a little pear and this was not very good <laughs> and you know when you're drawing it you don't realize it but like Lindsay said she said she loved the top half but the bottom half was like chaotic and kind of uh, unpeaceful and so she suggested a couple of things and so then I drew this one which I think turned out awesome I love it that one was really fun to draw. And then this one, we actually started drawing this one upside down. And then we finished it right side up. My head was too big, but I think he turned out really cute. It was it was fun. It's a fun technique to learn. And I have used that technique quite a bit. And then this was some birch bark. And my guy. I know I just showed this like last week. My girl, and Lindsay's so sweet, she never says anything bad, but she's like, that looks like one of those girls from the, um, in the art journal community, and she kind of does, because her eyes look 
<laughs> but I tried it again and I ended up with this and I think she's lovely she's just not what I was aiming for you know and then my jar I tell you I tried a lot of jars and I would practice and then my birch bark I think that turned out so fun that was our the end of our drawing lesson that one was really fun and then I was trying trying to draw Gracie Lynn it's not very good trust me it's not but then there's the girl I came back after I took the class while I was waiting on watercolors and drew her again I think she turned out so pretty oh and then I was recently sketching this little mouse little rat oh and then I did some faces my I want to do some faces um, through the end of the year I'm gonna to try to do a hundred different faces so there's a challenge on YouTube where you draw a hundred faces in 10 days and I was thinking I'm not up for that challenge but maybe I can do a challenge you know by the end of the year so you challenge yourself. well yeah it's just for myself but one girl, she challenged herself to draw a hundred faces in 24 hours. And I was like, I'm not up for that. But I did the calculations and that's like 14 minutes a face. Boy, you would have no rest at all. <laughs> I was like, uh -uh. Well, I, mean, I don't see how it do you even get it. Through. Well, you know, they say a lot of artists do things like that, but I don't know. I don't know. This was using Conte crayons and it was kind of fun. Um, I need to revisit that again because I still feel like it's not, you know, correct. And then I did it this way. I did two of them. I don't know. I just want to revisit it, I think. And then I did a deer. And I think she turned out pretty good. Um, the critique on this one was that I had it too smooth. I needed to leave some of my lines and stuff in. But I think she turned out really nice. I like her. Oh, and then I did this one on my own. And this was using... What did I use on this one? I thought I used Conte crayons, but I can't remember. Oh, I think I used the pencils. Oh, and then I did the tiger. So, I think he looks pretty cool. And then yesterday, I did this guy. Lindsay had a um, flip through of this, and then she also has a um, critique club so that you can go and check out her club. And she throws in, it's almost like Patreon, where you go and you pay like $5 a month in her case. And then she gives out two, um, two lessons a month and then she'll give you like a, a detailed critique on them but she didn't say anything about this one so she said it looked really good the colors were good and he looks very stylish <laughs> I think he looks really close to the yeah thing and then the if you fruit. look at the I really liked him and then if you look here you can see the uh, texture and stuff but he was really fun and I'll put a link below of that critique club because it's really fun. You really learn a lot from her. And then I had, was that everything? I'm looking to see if that was everything. Oh, there was one more I didn't share with you guys. Where? I don't know. It's probably in the, because I did the jar in something else. So let me go get my other book and I'll show you guys all that. I'll be right back. Okay guys, last one I think, <laughs> which is funny because I just opened it and I forgot some of the things I put in there so it's kind of fun to go through everything. This is one I did years ago, 2015, so I've been following Lindsay for at least five years, isn't that crazy? And then this was like a mixed media because there's book page here, 2015. And then I did this. This was a Lindsay one too, Lindsay tutorial. And I had my stamp up upside down in my stamp press thing. But I can't wait to do these again, you know, after I learned the essentials and stuff of watercolor. 
that's a little bright. <laughs> 2015. But they were fun. You know, they were really fun to do. That is horrible. <laughs> uh, so funny. This one um, was a leaf that we found at my mom's. We had went back that Thanksgiving and they had these humongous leaves in their backyard or in the because she was in a uh, assisted living place and or like a senior place anyways so we went for a walk and found this leaf and so I came back and printed or er, and painted it but eh. oh and then this one was um, kind of because that was the last time I saw mom alive until you know she was in hospice and then this one was one I kind of made for my mom. Butter butterflies hover whenever loved ones are near. When we scattered her ashes, it was really cold. There was still snow on the ground. And there was this one butterfly that just kept fluttering around us the whole time. Followed us. Yeah. Followed us, yeah. It was really, really aw awesome. These were some watercolor things I attempted. Mm -hmm. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. <clears throat> Eat, sleep, craft, repeat. <laughs> uh. Eat, sleep, craft, and repeat. Yep. Yeah. This is me practicing some um, handwork. Which is funny because Gail had something like this too. I thought that was so funny. We had almost the same amount of pages. <laughs> So yeah, I was practicing my... <laughs> Got a special pen and everything. I didn't take all the courses, though. Okay. And then here is my uh, fall journal. And what it was is I it was annoying me because I couldn't figure out why my... Um, the lip of my jar looked uh, slumped. For some reason, I just couldn't figure it out. It wasn't ringing, resonating in my brain. So I kind of fixed it. It's still kind of slumpy looking, but it's not as bad as it was. And at, at bedtime, for some reason, it just popped in my head uh, what I ne needed to do. So I <laughs> drew all these out and I got it down but I ended up with tendonitis from drawing too much. <laughs> oh, and then this one, I love this one. This is where you don't lift your pen from the paper. You just start and you draw and you don't lift your pen at all. That was really fun. So see, I still have some things that I can draw on. Oh, stuff in the back. Oh, these were ideas to use black watercolor on uh, circles. They were really fun. Um, probably another stamp idea, I think. Yeah, just me practicing. And some donuts. <laughs> and that's the <coughs> end of ah, my journey, my journal journey. Journal journey. Say that seven times fast. Yeah, I think that's... Uh-oh. What? The other one's your straw. Uh oh. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it would just be fun to kind of go through and kind of show you, you know, where I started and, you know, what I use my journals for. So, I use them for drawing, writing down things, lists, the day, and, uh, yeah, keeping up with my friends, things like that. So, it's really fun. So hope hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, hopefully we'll be back to regularly scheduled programming, which means we'll be back to the shabby dabby doodle. I'm <laughs> sorry. Shabby dabby doodle um, design team project. I need yeah, to get that finished, it, so. but I just wasn't up to, you know, lifting the sewing machine and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye guys. Thanks for visiting. See you later. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe.